formerly known as the Special Force Unit. It was formed in 1996 to respond to small emergencies in the country. In 2013, when we launched the Defence White Paper, we had a clear path of growing the force, which was in accordance with our government directive. And long-range reconnaissance was one of the major focus areas to grow. Since its formation, the unit has been engaged in some tasking directed by the national government. They include the rescuing of Indonesians who were taken hostage by West Papuans in 2015, the Ramsey operation in Solomon Islands in 2003, and the Bougainville Sandline crisis in 1990. It is not easy to grow the long-range reconnaissance. And we have witnessed in the last four years that um, although we have gone through the PNG Defence Force almost about four or five times in trying to build it up, we have recruited and trained uh, over 100 people. Today's display of what the unit is specialised in gives the public an appreciation of how the unit operates, not only in rescue missions, but how the unit survives when on operation. Your standard of training, the skill sets that you have been prepared and, and equipped are well above the normal standard of the PNG Defence Force. <laughs> the public were also given the chance to take part in the different drills. A special mention was made to wives and children of LRRU members who have always supported their fathers when on operations. Thakla Gunga, National MTV News.